Welcome everyone to H2O to Grow's setup series. Today we're going to be installing your air pump and air stone into your reservoir. Uh, today we have an 8 gallon top feed reservoir. Notice with the top feed lines. If you have just the bubbler, it's going to be the same procedure. I'm going to open up the air pump and remove it from the box. And we're also going to pull out our air stone as well. If we turn the reservoir to the side, notice this blue line right here. This is going to be your water fill indicator. It tells you how much fluid you have inside your reservoir. You always want to maintain this uh, at a level that's going to allow the net pots to be partially sum submerged and your rockwell cube is going to allow it, is going to have some uh, water available to it. Airstone is going to go inside the reservoir. We're going to start on the outside with the air pump installation. Simply pull the line, quarter inch drip line out and you're going to plug that into your air pump. The one critical function with this air pump, this system, is you must keep this air pump elevated above the fill line of your reservoir. Reason being, some people like to turn their air pumps off. If you turn your air pump off and it is a, a position lower than the level of your, in, your reservoir, you will have the water flow back into your air compressor causing a failure on your as far as the air pump itself, pretty simple. Turn the knob to adjust the air pressure. Typically keep it at maximum air pressure is the best way to run it. Very low energy draw on this pump. Plug it into the wall, very simple. Open up the top of the reservoir and find the other side of your air line. Simply connect your air stone and drop it inside. Not real critical where it goes. Try to keep it somewhere away from the water pump if you have a water pump, just so it's not sucking in air. But otherwise, it's pretty self-explanatory. Close the system back up, turn your air pump on, plug it in, and that's it.